Food Fun Finance. We are back for season three. We are here in Duluth, Georgia at the Cream. No time to talk, let's go. From finance, we are here at the cream. Oh my god, so many things came to mind, but definitely not a Korean restaurant. I guess you could call it a Korean restaurant, I'm not sure, but I hope this food is amazing. We are in Duluth, Georgia. Where else could we be at? And we kind of almost didn't find where it was at. Luckily, the directions took us directly to the parking deck. And we came into the parking deck, and the parking deck is right next to the actual restaurant. You go to the bottom level, so make sure you don't do like we did, and we stayed at the top level. You drive all the way down to the bottom, and you walk in through the back of the restaurant. Keep that in mind. Food Fun Finance, three things that you need to know about the cream. You're going to order from a menu, that's one thing. That happens everywhere else, but this is a little bit different. You order from the menu and you take your actual order up to the register and you pay. So, number two thing to know about, you're gonna pay up front for your food. Number three thing to know about is you get one of these letting you know that your order is ready. So the food is ready, no more talking, let's go. So Food Farm Finance, we are back with this masterpiece and all this freaking food. And I want to dive into this first. So we're going to jump right into it. What's this called again? Bulgogi fries. Oh yeah. Yeah, boy. This is a hit. So they got the slim slices of meat with yum yum sauce all over the top of it. Whoever did this was a genius. Stay tuned. So Food Fun Finance, we about to dive into this chicken ramen. Who doesn't like a good ramen in their life? So it's very flavorful. The K fried chicken is good. It's different. It's a little spicy on there. Those fries are still winning in my book. But if you're big on spice, this K chicken right here is pretty spicy. For some reason, when I look at this dish, it reminds me of that dude who be on the Food Network with the band that wrapped around his head. But this dish reminds me of it. But we need to move along to the next dish. So Food Fun Finance dish number three. This is the chicken katsu carbonara. If I said that right. It looks good. Like, I don't know, this fried chicken looks like it's busting. What you think? that crunchiness, mm. this is like a perfect crunchiness. Like the chicken is not dry, damn near, it's like fish or something, I don't know. So this is, if anything, this is the runner up next to the fries. This is the most tender chicken that I had in a very long time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So food from finance dish number four. We going in, we going in. So this is shrimp alfredo. Their rendition of shrimp alfredo to cheese sticked on top and they got fried shrimp. You hear that crunch? I still like that chicken from this tree. This one okay. All right, man, we gotta move on, baby. So Food Fun Finance, we got two drinks, you know, and then dive into like four different dishes already, so I gotta wash it down, man. So this is the poker face, and this is the passion fruit. So I've never seen red passion fruit before. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't think it's passion fruit. So that did not get a smiley face. So this is the poker face. Oh, shoot, I hit the strawberry, uh, strawberry down. So it's stuff at the bottom, so I'm gonna stir it real good. 
So this is I. Right. It tastes like a soda mixed with juice. That's the only thing I could think of. So Food Farm Finance, two more dishes, and we're gonna go traditional with this one, or with the steaks. Whatever you wanna call them, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you call them. We're gonna call them the sticks. So this is beef dumplings. Look at that. There's another name for it, mandu. But we're gonna call them beef dumplings. That sauce all right. Let's see what it tastes like without the sauce. So this is dish number five, Food Fun Finance. Stay tuned. So Food Fun Finance, I already know what you say. This look like something from Hash House or Go Go. I wonder if they kind of borrowed <laughs> the look. I'm not sure. So this is a breakfast item. You can order breakfast all day long. So it says on the menu between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. But you order it all day long. This is fried shrimp. There's a waffle underneath here. And there's a hash brown in the middle. So I think we taste this shrimp already. So I'm going to move them to the side. And I'm thinking this is like hash browns right here too. So I'm going to pour the syrup. Only complaint on this is that they do not have a lot of syrup. So maybe I can request it. The waffle is very soft. This syrup is very different. It's not your normal syrup. I just can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but I'm digging it. If this will breakfast look like in Korea, shoot, we can go there, right? Food from finance, why not? So you know when I come to a good restaurant, I, I overdo it, I, I overspend, especially when it's good. So they had a plethora of desserts that was up there. So I went and got me a to-go bag, but I'm gonna taste it right here in front of you so you could know what these desserts taste like. So first, which I think that is, Terra Ma Soup. I'm trying to get it open. Look at it, stay tuned. So Food from Finance, you know how I do. So we got some ice cream macarons. This is the vanilla one. It has like a velvet crust. And I'm about to dive into it as soon as you guys stop staring at it. It reminds me of an ice cream sandwich, but with the macaron. And it's really sweet. It's really good. We have three flavors, the vanilla, the mango, and the coffee. This is the mango. Okay, this one has a completely different flavor to it. And you can taste the mango a lot. It's really like upfront flavor. And this is the coffee one. That's a lot of coffee right there. This is gonna wake me up for that long drive home. I don't know, it's kind of hard to pick which one was my favorite. So I'll say the vanilla one, then the coffee, then the mango. So stay tuned with Food Fun Finance. We're about to dive into some more dessert. It's dessert time, baby. So we have tiramisu, we have pistachio cake, we have red velvet, and we have creme brulee cheesecake. Come on, man, it's no better than this, baby. We about to dive in, Food Fun Finance. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. If you got a sweet tooth like this would be heaven right here. So let's go with the tiramisu first. One little bite. So that literally melts in your mouth. The coffee is there, there's not too much powder on the top. This one stood out to me, the pistachio cake. They also have a pistachio cheesecake and I wanted to try that one, but I spent a grip on these already. The cake is so soft. It's like there's no struggle whatsoever to devour this. That's when you know there's some good cake, some culinary bakery magic. So this is pretty good for a, a red velvet. It's not your traditional red velvet, but you don't have a lot of cocoa in it, like how you do with other red velvets. There's, to me, two different ways that you can make red velvet. And this one is not either one. It's kind of still the same, but not. That makes sense. Cheesecake, oh, you see that? Usually creme brulee, you know, when you hit it, you can feel the candy shell on the top because they caramelized the top, all the top is cake. It's like, it's it's misleading a little bit. It looks like there's pieces of caramel in the middle, little drops of caramel, oh my goodness. So stay tuned for Food Fun Finance so I can hit you with that review and let you know if this place is a no or a go. 
<laughs> so full fun finance we are back with your favorite part of the show the review so we're going to go down the list straight from the receipt so we could tell you what's what and give you an individual score on each one so the man do to me an individual score on it i'm not a big fan of those particular dumplings but those were pretty good so i'll give those a four and Brittany agrees with me she's behind the camera because she's still eating so moving right along to the bowl gogi fries it was the number one dish that we had hands down so it was the fries with the bowl gogi shredded beef on top of it then it had the yum yum sauce it was an awesome combination whoever put that together did their thing. So, bulldoggy fries, five out of five. Brittany agrees to <laughs> So, the chicken cabanera. That would be runner up, number two. Most definitely because of that chicken. So tender, so crispy, wasn't over juicy. It was just right. So, that would be the second runner up. And I would give that dish a 4.8. Brittany doesn't agree. She's saying that the pasta really threw it off a little bit. So, what you give it? She gave it a four. I think that chicken took it to another level, but you know, that's her opinion, my opinion. That's why you have both of us on this show to give you two different opinions. So what's next on the list? The shrimp Alfredo. I think it's tiger shrimp. Those shrimps were pretty good. The Alfredo was, was pretty same, right? So I would give that probably a 3.8. Yeah, 3.8. The Chicken Raymond now, I think Chicken Raymond deserves to be number three. So out of the top three items that they have here, I would say the Raymond would come in third. Oreo would be a tie between the Raymond and the uh, waffles because the Raymond was very flavorful. Like out of all the Raymond that I've had, which is not too much, I think that was one of the flavorful Raymonds that I've had. The chicken was on the spicy side, which is a given because where we're at, but it wasn't an overbearing spice. So that's what gave it the cool points. So the shrimp waffles, you know, we already tasted the shrimp. They were crisp to perfection. But the waffles, it's really hard to find like the real good Belgian waffles that would stay soft on the middle and not get hard on the outside or in the middle. And these were just right. Soft all the way through and through. Wasn't tough, it was great. Only complaint I have about that was the syrup. So with the waffles, I would say a 4.5. You agree, Brittany, 4.5? She agrees. So the drinks that we had was the poker face and passion tea. So it's called loose leaf tea. I'm assuming that's why I didn't have any sugar in it. So be aware, like these drinks are a little bit different. So the poker face kind of tasted like a sweet soda with some frizz in it. And the loose leaf tea just tasted like some tea without sugar, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just not for me, but they have other options. You know, I try to pick like the different stuff on the menu. So we discussed that when people come to different restaurants and they try different things, and you gotta try to keep an open mind because if you try something at one place and then you go to another place and don't decide to try it because you felt like it wasn't something that you liked there, every place is different. Like the passion fruit here did not taste the same way that I was brought up drinking passion fruit. There's different passion fruits in the world. So you gotta understand that if you taste passion fruit here and you go to the Caribbean and you try to taste passion fruit there, that it will taste completely different. So keep an open mind, especially when exploring and having adventures with food. Stay tuned. Moving right along to the dessert. So the dessert ticket, we had the pistachio cake, which was really good. And then we had the tiramisu. They're all pretty much $7.99. And then we had the cheesecake creme brulee, $7.99. And then we had the red velvet. So these three were masterpieces. Like they literally melted in your mouth. So if you ever get the opportunity to try either one of those three, you should be good when you come here and visit, most definitely. Or trying the ice cream macarons. So the ice cream macarons was pretty good. The coffee was Britney's favorite. My favorite was the vanilla. So like we said before, that's why you got two of us here to give you both our opinions, two different opinions, so you could try either or. So if you are a Britney type of person or you are a Nick type of person, then you will know which food you like. So now we're gonna give you the review 
of the overall customer service, environment, and price since you already got the food up front. So moving right along, environment, it is like peaceful in here. The decor is awesome. The only thing you need to keep in mind is how you find it and where you park it, I think. So the environment to me was like a four star. It's just really peaceful. This is like one of those type of places you come to as the work field and you catch a vibe. They're playing some real good music, like the soundtrack, like Low me away. Some of it was K-pop, some of it was urban, some of it was R&B, like it was no discrimination whatsoever. It was real good vibes. So with that being said, we give it a four, four stars across the board. Let's go. Oh my God, so we into the customer service, food fund finance. Customer service was A1. They helped us bring this stuff to the table because we bought an outrageous amount of food. So since we bought so much food, they helped us bring stuff to the table. The only thing that I could point out that, you know, may not sit well with some people is that it's kind of like a self-service. So you go up, grab the menu, you pick your items, you go pay the cashier, you pay up front, and then you come back and you wait till your food is ready. When your food is ready, then your buzzer is, is gonna go off and then you will go get your food. And then you will get your utensils and you're getting everything. So it's like full self-service, most definitely, which I really didn't have a problem with because the food surpassed the level of excellence as far as how everything is. So actually putting in all the work, it really didn't make a difference. So customer service for me was five point stars straight across the board, let's go. So Food Fund Finance, this was the dinner menu and we got six different items. And that was another thing I didn't mention with the food. The portions were huge. So even though we bought so many different items, like we have a big to-go bag going home. Like we literally still have two plates out of the four plates that we have because they were very large portions. Like the Raymond could have filled you, those fries definitely could have filled you all day. So the pricing to me was fair. We got those four dishes and then two of the, the drinks. The first two were actually appetizers. So we try to give y'all, you know, some good options. So that was $87, but I gave them a tip and it came out to 111, which was cool to me because the food was really worth it. So then, you know, I seen how good the food was. So I got out of hand and went and got a whole bunch of dessert too. So each dessert was $7.99. I got four different desserts and they came out to $33.88. I gave a tip, I always try to give a tip. And it came out to 40. I think that was a fair price. We got a pretty good amount of food. But if we had got just our normal, if we just came here for dinner, I would think it would come up to about 40, maybe $50, 50 bucks. And that's reasonable. So for the pricing, I would say what a four, four point five with the pricing, I think is very reasonable, especially for this area right here. So Food Fund Finance, this is a new establishment. They have only been open for two months. So come and try it out, man. I promise you this is some good food and you will have a blast. This vibe is crazy. Like bring your friends, it's gonna be amazing. If you stay in the Duluth area, if you don't stay in the Duluth area, that's all cool but come try it out. So that's it, the review is over. For food Fund Finance, just remember one thing, you are here where food, fun, and funds collide. Stay tuned, man, we got plenty of videos coming. Do me a favor, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you always stay to the end so you see the reviews, or you can skip and go through the chapters. Let's go. Food Fund Finance, make sure you do me a slight favor, a really important favor so we can keep this channel going, keep this channel growing. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you comment, make sure you share with your friends, make sure you're here every single Wednesday and Saturday, 7 p.m., watching these videos that we're bringing to you. Make sure you travel too. Let's go.